Now let's bring in Lara Trump, former President Trump's daughter-in-law. Lara, it's great to see you. Welcome back again. You know the result of this Facebook extended ban till November. Your take, your reaction, please. Uh, sadly, it's not really surprising. I, I, I didn't expect Facebook to do much more than this. Um, but I think it just goes to show you that what we have all been seeing over the past, you know, five, six years with these social media companies, but certainly in the past year, is very frightening for the future of America. You look back, Stuart, to during the campaign, the fact that you had all these social media outlets blocking and suppressing stories about the Hunter Biden laptop. I mean, this was a very big deal. They didn't allow it to run because it went against the Democrat narrative. It went against their chosen candidate. And when you have companies that have this, this massive power, that really have the power to influence people, a lot of people get their information directly from these social media outlets. It's a really scary thing that now it's six more months. But I, I mean, I'm sadly, I'm not surprised to see this happen. Now, you've got the, the former president has this new platform announced yesterday from the desk of Donald J. Trump. That's his new platform. I understand that he, Mr. Trump, he can post on it and people can share those posts on Facebook and Twitter. Is this his new Twitter? Is this his new platform? Are we going to be hearing from him now almost all the time on from the desk of Donald J. Trump? <clears throat> Well, I don't think you'll dis be disappointed in, in the amount of, of posts that he'll be putting up. I think you'll hear from him very frequently. But he's been doing this. You know, the, the president um, has been putting out uh, of these press statements, these press releases over the past several months since he was banned from Twitter and Facebook. Um, and I think he's finding it uh, to be something that he's really enjoying. So this is not... To, to go back to your question, this is not the uh, social media platform that you've heard him talk about um, possibly launching in the future. This is really just a space where he can kind of put up these things that he otherwise would have put out as press releases so that they're really easy for people to find and they can go out and they can post them. Now, what I'll be curious to see is will Twitter and Facebook allow the posts from the from president, former President Trump to actually go up on their platforms? Because you might recall, I did an interview with my father-in-law and I posted it yep. to my Facebook page and Facebook removed it. So are they going to allow these posts to stand? That'll be interesting to see. Yes, I, I'm just going to, may I offer a quick opinion? I think Facebook is terrified of its advertisers and its advertisers are in turn terrified of their own employees who will object vigorously if President Trump is allowed back on Facebook. This is a nasty situation, but that's the way I see it. How about you? Yeah, well, it's all of this this wokeness that has consumed so many yeah. in America. I mean, we saw the, the MLB All-Star Game move from Atlanta to Colorado based on woke politics. And these people oftentimes do not fully uh, appreciate the gravity of a situation or even what they're talking about. They just know that they've got to cave and bow down to all, all of this, you know, again, woke politics. And it's really sad. I think it's very damaging for the future of our country. I think it's a terrible example to set for our children. Um, but I think you're right. I think at the end of the day, it comes down to money. It comes down to advertisers. Nobody wants to be called out for standing up uh, against this stuff. Although I think if more people did, I think they would be rewarded heavily. Have you heard directly from the president this morning? The news broke from Facebook about 40 minutes ago. We've not seen anything posted on from the desk of Donald J. Trump. Have you spoken to him personally before you came on the air today? No, I haven't talked to him yet today, but um, he is probably as, as unsurprised as I am to see this happen. And, and by the way, I don't think he's upset about it at all. I think that um, the reality is he's going to have a platform that he'll roll out in due time that is going to rival Facebook, that's going to rival Twitter. Um, I Already overnight on the desk of Donald J. Trump website, we had over a million people sign up, Stuart. So I think people want to hear from former President Trump. They want to hear what he has to say about a range of issues. They are thirsty to hear from him. Quite frankly, Twitter and Facebook have been pretty boring without him on there.